Here we upload videos about new technology, inventions, new gadgets, and future ideas. So if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so so you don't miss any new episodes. If you're planning to buy a good DSLR camera, then this episode's for you. In this episode, I'm going to compare Samsung Galaxy S8 and Google Pixel. If you're eyeing a high-end Android smartphone, you'll likely want to consider options from both the Samsung Galaxy S8 series and the Google Pixel flagships. Here we compare the specs and features of the Galaxy S8 Plus and the Google Pixel. We will compare these phones on the following 20 points. 20. Build Both builds use aluminum and glass, but to different effect. The S8 Plus has a rounded glass back that curves into a minimal aluminum frame. The Pixel has an aluminum body with the exception with the exception of a glass panel on the upper back. 19. Colors The S8 is available in five colors internationally, but in the U.S., only the black, silver, and orchid gray variants are currently available. The Pixel comes in black, blue, and silver. 18. Size the S8 Plus is considerably larger than the Pixel. The S8 Plus is the bigger of Samsung's latest flagships, while the Pixel is the little brother to the Pixel XL. The relatively tall, narrow S8 Plus is 10% taller and 4% wider. 17. Weight The S8 Plus is 17% heavier than the Pixel. 16. Water resistance. The S8 Plus has an IP68 water resistance rating, but the Pixel is not similarly protected. 15. Display type. Both makers choose AMOLED display technology over IPS. 14. HDR display. The S8 Plus is certified Mobile HDR Premium by the UHD Alliance and can support HDR video content. No such luck on the Pixel. 13. Curved Display The S8 Plus display has rounded edges that curve around the edges of the phone. Like most phones, the Pixel is flat fronted. 12. Home Button Both phones have on-screen home buttons. The home button in the Galaxy S8 series has some pressure sensitivity, so you can do a hard press to immediately go home even when the navigation buttons are faded out. 11. Display Size There's a whopping difference between the nearly edge-to-edge 6.2-inch display on the larger Samsung phone and the bezeled 5-incher on the Pixel. The S8 Plus packs in 29% more screen area. 10. Display Resolution Display resolution on the S8 Plus also beats that of the Pixel. QHD Plus resolution is just one of the qualities that has earned Samsung's Infinity Display high praise from experts. Both phones have back-mounted fingerprint sensors. The Pixel's is centered, but on the S8 Plus, it is placed to the right of the camera lens and is harder to reach. 9. Face Recognition Samsung has lauded the S8 flagship's face recognition as a nearly instant biometric method for unlocking your phone. However, it doesn't seem to be the best way to keep your phone secure and it doesn't seem that different from the trusted face feature already included in the Android operating system. 8. Iris Scanning Samsung does offer a more secure biometric method, iris scanning, which has been much improved since we first tested it in the ill-fated Note 7. 7. Hardware Samsung uses the latest Snapdragon 835 chip in the US and other markets and its own Exynos branded chip elsewhere. Google used last year's Snapdragon 821 chip, which is still duly capable. 
Both phones have 4 gigs of RAM, the S8 Plus is available in 164 gig storage size, while the Pixel straddles that with 32 gigs and 128 gig options. Storage on the S8 Plus is expandable up to an extra 256 gigabytes thanks to micro SD. Don't worry, neither of these flagships followed in the path of the iPhone 7. The headphone jack remains intact. The S8 Plus has a bigger battery, which makes sense because it's a bigger phone. We'll see how it fares in our standard battery test in our full-length review. Both phones offer some quick charge capability. 6. Wireless Charging Only the S8 Plus supports wireless charging with a sold separately charging pad and even a degree of fast wireless charging. 5. Camera Megapixels Resolution in the front and rear camera stands pat. The S8 Plus has a larger aperture which, at least in theory, could translate into better depth of field effects and improved low light shooting. The S8 Plus has OIS to combat handshake induced image blur, but not the pixel. 4. Mobile Payments both phones have NFC technology to make payments with a swipe of your phone at participating retailers. Samsung Pay on the S8 Plus has the added benefit of being able to mimic magnetic stripe cards as well. 3. Voice Assistant Both phones have Android's Google Assistant, but the S8 series also debuts Samsung's all-new Bixby Virtual Assistant. There's even a dedicated Bixby activation button on the side of the phone. However, not all Bixby features, including all important voice control, have gone live yet. 2. VR Headset The S8 Plus supports the Samsung Gear VR, which currently has a better content library than the similarly capable Google Daydream View, which is compatible with the Pixel. With Samsung's DEX dock, which is sold separately, you can use the S8 Plus to power a desktop PC-like experience with a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. 1. Software Pixel runs pure Android Nougat, and as a Google device, it is first in line for software updates for the near future. The S8 Plus runs Nougat as well, but with Samsung's TouchWiz UI skinned on top, which will mean slower updates. So now, what would be the price for these phones? Well, prices for the S8 Plus vary depending on carrier and payment plan, but expect to pay nearly $200 more than you would for the Pixel, which already carries a considerable $649 price tag. To see more about the Galaxy S8 Plus and Google Pixel phones, you can go to my description and click on the official website links. So that's it for today's episode. Please don't forget to like and share video.